Happy 2018. Adam here. I think I'm looking at the right place. Uh, I want to do something different here. Use whatever audience I have. Use, you know, a forum here to... I'm sick of the clickbait. I'm sick of people doing neoplagiarism and really rewriting others' work. What I think I can do to add value uh, in this video world, and by the way, I have lost a little weight lately, is point out and give you teasers of things that are excellent that are being written that you might not otherwise be aware of. So maybe that's how I can use my voice. Uh, here's an example of it. Uh, Carl Denninger, excellent writer, writes at marketticker.org. That's market-ticker.org. And I want to bring this to your attention. You know, the best thing is for you to just go there and read it. Fine, abandon me. That's okay. Uh, but he writes great stuff. Ann Barnhart, whom I like a lot, don't agree with everything she says, but I like her a lot. You know, often considers him something of a mentor for her. I don't know if they have a personal relationship or if she just reads his stuff. But here's something he wrote today. And uh, you can find it at market-ticker.org called There is Only One Business Scam. I'm going to read you a little bit of it. I know the glasses reflect, but i got to read it. Here's how he starts. Uh, you either steal, rob, lie, launder money, and otherwise rip people off, or you go out of business. Uh, the only exception, if you're small enough not to attract any of the so-called great business attention, you can run a bar, you can run a small restaurant, as long as it doesn't compete with one, any of those large firms. You might, able, you might be able to run a small consulting outfit. Otherwise, forget it. Then he gets into um, Amazon in particular. Uh, one theme of his, he talks about the sort of anti-competitiveness uh, that the pressures Amazon doesn't have to deal with because of the nature of its business. You should read it. I'm not going to go into much depth here. A common theme is the whole healthcare industry, how it's a scam. He talks about that as well. Let me read you uh, something about Facebook in particular. Here's what he writes. Facebook has been caught multiple times overstating how many impressions their ads get. They charge people for all of their claimed impressions, of course. This is blatant fraud especially when you claim more reach than there are people. Not only has there been zero enforcement action taken against them, there has been zero investor reaction. And uh, another point he has, and this is something I've seen in some of the websites I've even written for, is there's so much neoplagiarism and just plain, plain old plagiarism going on. Uh, I've observed it. Uh, and that's a form of theft, but what Denninger writes here, and again, I'm just teasing you with this, go to the actual article, there's a link in the comment section, in the subheading here, uh, or in the comment section, whatever, I put it in, I'm tired, I don't even want to be up right now. Uh, here's what Denninger writes, because everyone is stealing and theft when there are no cops, uh, has no check and balance on the amount or frequency of the thefts. In addition, anyone who has the temerity to challenge any of these enterprises with competition can be stopped on and will be, whether here or through the theft of their intellectual property here or in China. And again, no, uh, nobody will do a damn thing about it. And this is a must read by Carl Denninger at market-ticker.org. And I want to point out also that the comments section tends to be really good. I think he probably only puts the best ones on there, but let me just give you one example of it um, from Ticker Guy. Uh, no, I think he must have put two in from Ticker Guy. Yeah. Uh, he responds to a quote, my guess is that Amazon has set up entities in every jurisdiction that do not have nexus with that particular taxing authority. They merely route the transaction through the one closest to the purchase purchaser that is not required to collect sales tax. F you, Jeff, that's to Bezos. And then the response to that quote, uh, which was a quote by Denninger, is that's felony tax evasion and Bezos needs to go to prison. I explored all of the avenues in this regard back in the 1990s, and there were none that my corporate counsel was willing to opine on that did not end in some version of go to prison, get sued out of existence, or both. The only reason Spamazon is doing this is because nobody goes to effing jail anymore if you're a big company, whether what you're doing is illegal or not. Okay, this is a common theme there. I wanted to bring it to your attention. You know, you could have left at the beginning of this and just gone to read the article, that's fine, but there's good stuff out there. There's so much clickbait crap. Don't read that. Read the good stuff. And this is one example of it. The link is right there in the uh, description. Okay.